Welcome to Coffee Break, Five Minutes with God. Five minutes in the Word of God, five minutes designed to taste and see that the Lord is good. My name is Michael Moret. Talking about the subject of divorce, when a Christian should divorce their spouse and when they should not. Some people were saying back in those days that if you if you and your spouse were married and both of you were unsaved and then one of you got saved, you ought to immediately divorce the unsaved partner. God says, no, don't do that. Not as long as the partner is okay with you living for the Lord, fine. And, and wants to stay married, you don't have to divorce that person just because they're not saved. Well, with that, it says in verse 15, but if the unbelieving depart, let them depart. A brother or a sister is not under bondage in such cases. But God hath called us to peace. So, you know, abandonment is a second legitimate biblical reason for divorce. Abandonment. The only two I see in scripture are abandonment and unfaithfulness. And of course, a person can abandon their spouse without leaving the address. There are other ways of abandoning them, totally ignoring them, doing things that are destructive to their own spiritual life. You know, I mean, really, if you stop and think about it, ignoring that person, um, setting them up for sin, you got to be careful, I think, not to take a too much of a literal view of this. Well, I say it, it's, it, well, let me backtrack. It is literal, literally abandonment. I'm just saying abandonment can take place without a person changing their address. But if a spouse of a Christian doesn't want to be married to their Christian partner anymore, they have abandoned them, God tells the Christian, go ahead, get a divorce. It's better to be separate and have peace than to be together and be at each other's throats. Divorce is never good. God hates divorce. But sometimes it is, and this is according to God's word, sometimes it is the lesser of two evils. Use a baseball analogy. A walk it's never a good thing for a pitcher to walk a batter because then he gets to go to first plate, base. But sometimes a walk is the lesser of two evils. If the game is on the line and you got the best hitter at the plate, oftentimes the pitcher will intentionally walk. It's not a good thing, but it's better than pitching to the guy and having him hit one out of the park, a walk-off home run to win the game. That's the way it is with marriages. No, divorce is not good. God hates divorce. Absolutely. But sometimes, according to the word of God, it is the lesser of two evils. So God is willing to set aside the letter of law concerning marriage, which he prefers to be permanent. He'll set it aside to be compassionate to his people. He wants us to be at peace and sometimes, again, divorce is the only way to make that happen. Study all of God's Word with me at the Scripture Verse by Verse website, and that is found at the Bible Verse by Verse.com. Go there, choose, click, and listen from four complete series going through the whole Bible verse by verse. If you'd like to be a part of Coffee Break and Scripture Verse by Verse, pray for me and God's Word. Do it right now while you're thinking about it. Write a note, put it on the refrigerator door, any place else you see frequently. Pray for Mike, pray for God's Word. And don't forget to study God's Word with me at the thebibleversebyverse.com. And when you take a break, go to the front page, click the donate button. Prayerfully give as the Lord may lead because that makes you an important part of this ministry, just like prayer. See you next time.